Hey everybody. Um, I don't know quite how to start um, with the events that are going on. Um, my heart definitely goes out to anybody who has suffered like this or suffered from racism or anything of the sort. Um, hello Paco. We're all one race. Um, in my opinion, like we all bleed the same just because our pigment of our skin can take the sun a little bit more. I don't understand it. I don't get it at all. It's not okay. It's not right. But um, today's practice, I really want us to feel into what's going on. Um, a lot of us might be feeling it already and not quite realizing it or trying to distract ourselves so that we don't feel it. I'm kind of one of those people, <clears throat> but I think that the more we can drop into what's going on, the more we can all create change because change starts from within. So our practice today um, is going to be a very energetic practice, really cultivating all of the energy that is going out there, all that frustration and anger and pain um, that's really raising the vibration of everything right now. We're going to try and feed that into ourselves, take that in and as though we're a filter, filter out a lot of that pain and frustration and cleanse it, create some peace, create some compassion. Um, and then at the end, since meditation comes after yoga, <laughs> Um, we're gonna do a Tong Len meditation. Um, it's a type of meditation. Uh, it stands for taking and sending, or sending and taking. So we're gonna take in um, any of the pain, any of the suffering, and on our inhales, and then as we exhale, we send out compassion and love and light and peace, um, whatever the opposite of that pain you're feeling is. So. Um, there's different ways to go about that and different levels of it that I'll cover at the end But for now, let's just hold in our hearts everything that's going on and know that we stand united as a people as a human race um, And that trusting in our hearts that we would never allow something to continue to go on like this or see it happen in front of us and not stop it um, or do something to educate our children. Um, like one thing my mom always taught me was just in normal conversation, if you're pointing somebody out like, I'm white, so another white person, like I wouldn't say that white person over there, I'd say, oh, that person in that blue shirt. But because say a black person might stand out more because they're the only one there or what have you, you go, oh, that black person over there, not saying that, not doing that, choosing the color of their shirt, um, or if they have a pretty headband in their hair. My mom always made sure to, for us to know, like never to see race, never um, to see that as a thing and, and to always just see everybody the same and not see the color at all because it's really just pigmentation, so. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started with our flow. If anything feels better for you, please do that. Um, if you just need to lay on your mat and cry, you can do that. If you need to do super intense vinyasas, like whatever feels good for your body. Um, but let's go ahead and start standing at the top of our mat. Really getting settled into our feet here, softening the feet, softening the knees. Lifting the tailbone slightly, drawing the pelvis back underneath the, the spine. Stretch those hips apart. I just got a pop in my sacrum from pushing my hips out and away from each other. Inhale, reach those shoulders up, back and down. Palms face forward, chin comes back slightly, reaching the top part of the scalp up towards the sky. Settle here without changing anything. This is the most important part. We are just dropping in to notice, like watching a fish in a fishbowl. We just wanna check out what's going on. Can you notice your breath? Without changing it. If you just changed it, how was it before? What are the thoughts in your mind? Do you have any feelings in certain parts of your body, like your chest, 
hips and neck, your throat. Yesterday, my throat was feeling really tight and closed up. Um, but I knew I just like needed to sing and cry. <laughs> so that's how I release. And then start to just deepen your breath a little bit. Belly expands on the inhale, pulls in on the exhale. Every time you inhale, can you breathe up into the mind? And as you exhale, can you send that breath down into your feet, down into the earth? As you breathe into your mind, you are connected with the universe, taking in the energy from the sun, the stars, your life's purpose. And every time you exhale, you're grounding and connecting to your earthly experience. This meat vessel to act for the universe. On your next inhale, we'll sweep the arms up overhead, staying really active in your body and really pressing into my feet, pressing into my hips. Gentle back bend, lifting that tailbone up. Exhale, bend the knees deeply, swan dive down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees slightly. Inhale, pause in chair. Exhale, pressing up to mountain. Inhale, gentle back bend. Exhale, mountain. So every time we inhale, think about any pain or suffering that you might have seen or you yourself have experienced or somebody that you care about. Every time you exhale, transmute that, cleanse it into peace, into love, into healing. Wish peace upon them, wish peace upon yourself. Inhaling, take in the pain of the world. Exhale, offer peace, bowing to the humility of being a human. Inhale, breathe it in strong. Any suffering that our humans have gone through, we've all gone through. Exhale, release it out. Inhale, halfway lift into chair pose. Strong here, take two breaths. Breathing in any pain or frustration. Exhaling, can you soften? Can you find the peace? Can you create the peace? Inhale up into a gentle back bend. Exhale, mountain. Noticing your body's reaction to your thoughts, to your feelings. How can we turn towards those emotions more, stripping away any of the story, any of the words attached to it, our own history attached to it. When you strip that away, the raw emotion is the united human experience. We all may have gone through different things, but we have all been triggered the same way in different ways. We've all experienced what each other has experienced. Inhale, take in whatever you're feeling, whatever you want to release from the world. Exhale, take it out. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Moving to some ujjayi breath. Inhale, chair. Exhale, mountain. Inhale, upward back bend here. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale, standing up to mountain. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, really pressing into the feet. Allow the back to relax, fold. Inhale, sink into the heels, lifting the arms, chair. Breathe here. If you feel frustration in chair, feel the frustration for the world. As you exhale out your frustration and release 
to find peace, find peace for the world. Inhale up, gentle back bend. Exhale, mountain. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, bend the knees, swan dive down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step the feet back into a tabletop here. And just taking any movement with your breath, whatever you need, feel into your body. We all react and carry things differently. Our hips aren't the only place that we can carry emotion or negative emotion. Um, I carry a lot in my neck. So, and then, like I said before, my throat. So just breathe. Where do you feel the tension? When do you feel the tension? Like when I look this way, I feel the extra pain down my, my neck here. So how can you move with your body to help release what you have going on, both physically and emotionally, especially as an empath? As an empath, we're meant to help cleanse the negative emotions, turning into positive, releasing, helping to heal the world. And then coming to a nice strong tabletop here. Inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale, curl, knee to nose. Inhale, lengthen. Again, as we're breathing, take in any pain, frustration, sorrow. Exhale, cleanse it out. Find the opposite emotion to feel and breathe. Exhale. Inhale. Go ahead and take that foot all the way up. Lift your knee so that your thigh is parallel to the ground. And then just make some big knee circles here. A lot of us do do. <laughs> a lot of us do carry emotions in our hips. You're going to try setting your knee to the other side of your right knee here. You can even sit back into this a little bit, kind of stretching the hips and my T-bands. Breathing, sitting with your emotions, with your thoughts, how you're feeling. Inhale, shift forward, take that leg long behind you. Exhale, curl, knee to nose once more. Step that foot out to the left. Coming into a low lunge here or lizard. Whatever feels good for you and your body, make sure you're pressing even into both palms. You can work in this fascia by shifting back and forth a little bit. Breathing in. Any pain, frustration, sorrow. Again, doing whatever feels good for you and your body. Hata, ha meaning sun, ta meaning moon. The practice of living in the duality of life. Because it takes the dark to see the light. It takes pain and fighting and arguing to find the solution. And then just coming into your lunge, settling here, breathe. When your body wants to escape a pose, when all of a sudden it goes, ah, we're done, and it wants you to jump out of it, it wants you to jump out of your mind, out of your body, sit with that longer. What is that? How do you react to that? That's how you react to anything uncomfortable in life. So how we meet ourselves on our mat is how we meet ourselves in the world. It's how we meet others in the world. If you turn a blind eye to your own pain, probably more likely to turn a blind eye to others. You can roll onto that right hip, 
Allow the left knee to really push out away from the body. Make sure you roll that right shoulder back. Micro bend in the arms here. You can even take your top shoulder, arm out and away. And then exhale, coming back to center. Go ahead and take that leg back behind you. Rest back, child's pose, knees together or wide. You can just gently rock side to side here. Inhale, shift forward into tabletop. Stretch those hips apart. I don't know how to like show you that, but it's really crucial for the integrity of your whole body and your spine. So getting nice and strong here again. You can do some gentle cat cows. Wiggle side to side. Again, finding what feels good for you. Nice and strong. Lift that right leg behind you now. Exhale, curl knee to nose. Inhale, lengthen. And if you get frustrated with the practice or the poses, can you translate that frustration to what others might be feeling in their daily lives or over the events that are going on? And when you create the peace and relax within yourself, can you send that peace and relaxation out there to those who are still suffering? Inhale out, go ahead and lift that leg all the way up, turn the knee up towards the ceiling so your thigh is parallel, get some big knee circles here, other direction. Taking that leg long behind you on your next inhale, exhale, curl knee to nose, step that foot to the outside of your right hand. Go ahead and lift up on your back foot, coming into lizard, or you can keep your knee down for low lizard. But again, if it feels good, you can rock back and forth, work that fascia out. Really helps to get rid of a lot of chronic pain. And physical pain causes a lot of emotional pain, which creates a lot of emotional anger. So to help us just feel better, since it starts with us. If we take care of our own pain, we will help the world's pain. Again, notice where you feel the tension, where you feel the tightness. Where do you bury the things that you don't like to deal with or don't know how to deal with? Sticking with your ujjayi breath, can you hear it coming in and out even though you're breathing through, through your nose? And then settling into your low lunge. Again, how can you be with both tension and the relaxation, the pain and the peace. The suffering and the release. How does your heart feel? How does your mind feel? If it feels good for you, you can drop onto that left hip more, press that right knee out. I'm not collapsing or relying on this arm to be locked out to hold me up. I'm still keeping mindful of my shoulder and arm alignment. I don't want to cause more damage, I want to help my body. If it feels good, you can extend your top arm out and away. And even catch a tail. Open your heart to the suffering of the world because you 
are human. We all are human. We are all one race. We all suffer together. We all rejoice together. Exhale, slowly release. Sweep that right leg back behind you. You can take your knees wide or together for child's pose. Let your head come down first and then let your hips settle. So my hips don't quite touch my heels when I let my head go down first versus if I just set my hips down than that, but I actually don't get that much of a stretch now. So coming from that kind of half child, half uh, tabletop, I set my head down, let my head kind of slide and then allow my hips to settle. And so now I have like maybe a millimeter of space more, but I feel the stretch so much more in my groins and in my hips right now. Breathe into any areas of pain or tension. On your next inhale, we'll shift forward, pressing into your downward dog. Your feet can be wider than your body. It doesn't matter. It can be a little bit shorter. Soft bend in the knees. Stretch the hips apart and up. Allow the heels to sink to the earth. I'm not trying to walk my legs out. I want my knees bent because then I have control over the stretch depending on how much I let my heels sink and how much I lift my hips. Breathing here. And then exhale, we're gonna shift forward, set the knees down. I like to tuck my toes, bring the knees in. I'm going to stretch the toes just a little bit here, waking up the subtle body for our meditation. So 10 big backward arm circles with one hand on top, so one hand will naturally, otherwise you'll clap them. And then same direction, other hand on top for 10 more. And then release that, let the arms naturally swing down. If you need to come off your toes and point your toes, you can do so, sitting back onto your heels. You can lift your knees. And then we'll come back on, stretch the bottoms of the feet again. This time we're gonna do forward arm circles, one hand on top 10. Other hand on top. Slowly let them swing to a stop. And then you can lift one arm, patting up and down the side of the body. This helps to wake up the subtle energetic body. the lymph nodes, you can pat the chest, making these soft uh, paws here, releasing resentment and pain, take the gallbladder with your fingertips which is right underneath the right side of your rib cage. So you're looking at me opposite right now, um, but it's on your right side. It'll show as my left, but it's your right side. Tap, hold a lot of anger and resentment in our gallbladders. I am peace, I am love. I let go of resentment and anger easily. And then the 
deliver, I process my emotions. I move forward in a healthy, loving, understanding manner. My belly, we are loved, we are supported. We love and support others. We will all take care of each other. We are all connected through one human race. You can hold your belly here, breathe for a moment, maybe one hand on your heart. Now coming to a comfortable position for how you like to meditate, I usually set a block um, between my ankles and then that sits my sit bones on top of the block quite nicely. So it's widthwise. Pema, P-E-M-A, Pema Chodron, C-H-R-O-D, oh my gosh, A-N-E-N. Emma Chodron, she is a Buddhist monk who teaches this Tonglen practice. Um, this is who I, who I got this from. Um, she's amazing. Um, so Tonglen, the practice of taking and sending. We wanna take in the pain of others and help, again, cleanse and transmute that into peace and love and kindness and compassion. Um, this can be really intense. So it could be intense if you're super empathic and it's easy for you to feel those emotions, or it can be super intense if you can't easily do that. So if you're on the side where you can't easily feel what's going on or empathize, then you're gonna move a step deeper down. You're gonna do your Tonglen for those who are unable to feel or see what's going on. And when you take in the ignorance or the blindness or the inability to be connected with thyself or whatever you think the reasons are that they can't feel or empathize with what's going on, you take that in and on your exhale, you send those people, including yourself if you're one of them, the understanding the compassion and you create that and again we have all felt every emotion we have all felt depression we have all felt pain we have all felt anger we have all felt sorrow they might be in different ways they might look different but if you strip away the stories the words you're left with the raw emotion and that is our human connectedness that is what brings us all together and makes it so we can all help heal each other. So if you're not able to do that, you go a step further and you do it for the people who are still unable to feel compassion or empathy for others. And you just keep going down and down and down until you can find a place um, that you can actually feel and take in and send out and you can start small we'll start with someone you know someone you love um, maybe a friend a family member and then we move out into our home our community our peers our city our state our country our world um, and do it for everybody because everybody has gone through what is happening right now so Getting nice and settled, nice and comfortable, sits bones wide, spine in a nice, good, upright position here, or you can be lying down or sitting against a wall. Hands are comfortably resting down at the hips. They can be palms up or palms down, it's up to you. You can do some mudras if that feels all right, anything that is calling to you. You can place your hand on your heart and your belly even to remind you of your humanness, of all of our humanness. Take a deep breath into yourself, exhaling that energy down, knowing that if anything ever gets to be too much, the earth is there to take in all the excess, it is there to support you. We are all here. 
now if you can within you can you find the pain can you find suffering can you feel that in your body take away the words it doesn't matter how you experienced it step into the pure raw emotion of it don't run from it breathe into it can you feel that space can you let the pain take over the suffering again removing the story the raw emotion is just enough Can you feel that pain? Allow yourself to sit with it. And as you exhale out, exhale out peace. On your inhale, take in the pain and the suffering. And as you exhale, offer the peace and compassion. Feel the, fill the dark hearts with light. Remove the veil from the covered eyes. Send them the truth. Taking in the pain and the suffering and the oppression. And exhaling out unity, sending love, showing that our inner selves, we are all light, hearts of light, bright light. Inside of us, we are all children wanting to be seen and heard and felt. Wanting just as much of a right to live and be heard. To have a chance like any other. Taking the pain or even the confusion, I'm so confused. I'm so confused why this happens still. How do we not see that we're all one? That when you hurt each other, you hurt yourself, you hurt everybody. When one feels pain, we all feel the pain. None of us can fully live and enjoy being alive in our human vessels if we all can't enjoy and feel safe being alive in our human vessels. I didn't pick my circumstances. I didn't pick the color of my skin. I was born into this birth lottery. and compassion and light for those who didn't have a choice and still don't. Compassion and light to those causing the suffering, to those abusing their authority. Hurt people hurt people. How can we all see each other with love and understanding and move forward so we all become connected and whole, happy and healthy, united. Take a deep breath into the whole body. Exhale, exhale out any excess tension, pain into the earth for cleansing. Take a few moments to breathe, 
and bring yourself back into this moment, back into your body. Can you sink deep into your heart? And make a promise to work on the shadow parts of yourself. Because when we bring light into our hearts, we bring light into the world. We break cycles, we end suffering, we teach love. That starts with you. It may seem like nothing, but if we all agreed it started with us, then the whole world would brighten up. We are all one person, but together we are all. I like to imagine us as though we are all the same blades of grass in a meadow, connected but separate, moving through our experiences, occasionally brushing up against each other. But we can all sense it when the lawnmower comes. We can all feel the pain. We can all feel scared. And gently open your eyes, soft gaze. You can bring your palms together, heart center, gently bowing your mind to your heart. Giving thanks and gratitude to being here, being in your body, being alive, having the ability to make change where you are with what you are and what you do. Love and light in me recognizes and honors the love and light in each of you, in everyone and everything, no matter what. Namaste. Okay, so Please, as we move forward with events, um, move forward with ahimsa, which is respect for every living thing, everything, every person, no matter what, um, and doing no harm to anybody, not even your own race, not attacking or calling anybody out. Practice peace, understanding, kindness, pose things in the form of questions instead of pointing or accusing because that's how walls are created. When we ask questions, when we stop to listen, that's how walls are broken. That's how breakthroughs are made. That's how connections are created. My heart goes out to everybody during this time. Um, Again, if you feel like you want to donate to me, all the donations from this class will go to um, a Black Lives Matter uh, cause, um, or, sorry, um, you can Venmo me um, at joy-scola, or please just go donate to a cause. Don't even worry about sending it to me. <laughs> um, Please, 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 more than ever, my little light beings, go spread love and light.